Hi, welcome to the quick start for Sector Stream. Sector Stream is a module for Unity that allows you to take what would ordinarily be a single scene and split that scene up into different pieces, what we call chunks, and then dynamically stream those pieces in and out as the player moves around the world. This is really awesome. It's a lot more efficient than trying to load a huge level in one big chunk. It allows you to create really, really big spaces with very low performance and very low memory. Fortunately, doing all that sounds complicated. It's actually really easy to do once you've created sectors and portals. Here, I'm starting with a scene that already has sectors and portals created. You can see the sectors in blue and the portals in green. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, check out our sector core quick start. It'll show you how to do all that stuff. Um, or you can check out the demos folder for sector stream or sector core, and you'll find this exact scene in it. So in addition to sectors and portals, I've got a simple player set up here. And one of the things that we need to do to stream is we need some mechanism for loading the world around us. In sector stream, those are called loader components. And I'm going to start with a simple one, a neighbor loader. And what a neighbor loader does is it loads the sectors that are adjacent to the one that we're in. Also, you can see this little capsule, which is kind of a fake NPC that wanders around the map, which is cool and all, but like most NPCs, we don't want it running when it's part of the world has been shut down. So to do that, I'm going to add a hibernator component, which will tell whenever his part of the world is unloaded, it'll automatically pause him and resume him only when his part of the world has been streamed back in. With those two components set up, the last thing we need to do is export our world. To do that, we go to Winder, Window, Sector, and Stream. This is the Stream window, which is an import-export GUI for all the sectors in your scene. We're going to just click the Export All Sectors button, and that will be ready to play. Now that all of our sectors are exported, we can close the window. And if you take a look at the scene, you'll see that the sectors are still there, the portals are still there, some global objects like the doors are still there, but all the geometry is actually gone. And it's, where it's gone is if we look at our project folder, you'll see there's a new subfolder, the same name as our scene. And in that, there's a chunks folder. In that chunks folder is a new Unity file for every sector in the game. And that's the key of how we stream levels in and out. We can see that in action if I just go and play our demo here. And now you can see actually the levels streaming in and out as I move around the world. You can see that right now I've got it set to only stream the sectors that are immediately adjacent to me. Now, sector stream, you can do a lot more sophisticated stuff, stuff that doesn't obviously show the missing world here. Um, but this is a great simple example of how everything works. And you can see even in the editor, there's barely any hitching, and there's really no hitching at all in the full optimized builds. One other thing that's worth pointing out is if I stop the game and go back and select my stream player, you see the neighbor loader has this max depth property. And that's actually sort of how many neighbors, how deeply to load within the sector graph. If I change that from one to say two and play again, you'll see that this time it actually loads more of the map. It loads the map kind of going around the corners, again, this time based on adjacency, but just a deeper adjacency in the graph. So you can see how even something as simple as a neighbor loader can give you really effective streaming in just a couple of seconds. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.